All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of Research Fantasy Presents, the NBA Fantasy Baller DFS edition. It is Sunday, February 26, 2017, and we're here to bring you our three favorite core plays as well as YouTube exclusive value plays. Let's start it off with the most obvious play of the evening, and that's going to be DeMar DeRozan, shooting guard from the Toronto Raptors. DeRozan right now is priced at 16-3 on Fantasy Draft, 8,600 on FanDuel, 88 on DraftKings. Without Kyle Lowry in the lineup, he's got a pretty safe floor of, I think, around 40 points, and his upside could be as high as 60. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but he put up 43 actual points in the last game without Lowry. That was without basically any other peripheral stats and a ridiculous amount of turnovers. If some of those things level out against a Portland team that's definitely beatable on the offensive and defensive side of the ball, we could be looking at a monster outing from DeRozan. So as far as I'm concerned, he's pretty much a lock in my lineups tonight. Moving on from there, let's flip to the opposite side of the game, and I want to run with Damian Lillard of the Portland Trail Blazers. Lillard is priced at 15-7 on Fantasy Draft, 8,300 on FanDuel, 8,500 on DraftKings. And when I look at this matchup, I see a guy in Corey Joseph who's going to have absolutely no hope in stopping Damian Lillard. I just don't see a scenario that exists where Corey Joseph is going to be able to body up on him and keep him from doing the things he wants to do the only downside with him is going to be if his shot isn't fallen falling he's not going to be the volume type shooter in this game necessarily as DeRozan could be um, but I still think he's in a really strong position so I'm kind of notching him in as my number two play probably my number one overall point play outside of Russell Westbrook at the point guard position tonight let's finish things off with someone who I actually contemplated um, putting in the value bin tonight because when you're looking across this slate, I think you see guys like Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, Blake Griffin, Russell Westbrook, CJ McCollum. All of these guys are in good positions where they can pretty easy. I can see them pretty easily exceeding their price point. Um, but Nurk is priced at 11-2 on fantasy draft, 5-5 on FanDuel, 5,600 on DraftKings. This is a guy that almost or did put up 50 fantasy points depending on what scoring system you're using. Uh, and so you're looking at a situation where your upside is somewhere floating between the 8 and 10 time price upside on FanDuel and DraftKings and 4.5 four on Fantasy Draft, which makes him an elite play. The opposing Raptors are obviously down Kyle Lowry. Um, Jonas Valanciunas is not exactly the toughest defender in the paint. And Nurt seems to be playing with a renewed sense of vigor since coming over from the Denver Nuggets. I think he's kind of rationalized the fact that he lost the job that he thought that was going to be his. And now he's really interested in playing at a high level. So he's an easy lock for my lineups tonight as well. Since we are on YouTube, I promised you three value plays, and we're going to start it off with the chalkiest of all the plays outside of DeMar DeRozan tonight, and that's going to be his Raptors teammate, Corey Joseph. We've seen Joseph dominate in matchups when he was the starting point guard in games prior. He didn't really do that well last time out, but he still finished with 23 to 26 fantasy points, which was enough to make him worth the price of admission. I think tonight things become a little bit different. I think you'll see him open up a little bit more, and I'm expecting about 30 fantasy points. And it, with his price at 8,800 on fantasy draft, 4,200 on FanDuel, and 4,500 on DraftKings, I mean, it's not hard to see why you need to have him in your lineups. If you want to try to kind of change things up a little bit, I think one of the best options you could move to at the same position is going to be Ish Smith of the Detroit Pistons. Ish is pretty much priced the same, 8,800 on Fantasy Draft, 4,500 FanDuel, 4,500 DraftKings, and he's been putting up games anywhere from 16 to 40 fantasy points, so there is some volatility there, but there's volatility in everybody. I mean, it happens. Westbrook's going to have games where he only hits for three and a half times value, and he absolutely crushes everybody who pays it, plays him. But Ish has been outplaying Reggie Jackson for the last few weeks. Stan Van Gundy has come out, and he said he wants to try to figure out 
how to get the best out of Reggie Jackson. And quite frankly, I think that's going to be sitting him on the bench and letting him see what Ish is capable of to try to light a fire under him. The matchup tonight is reasonable against Boston because we know that Isaiah Thomas doesn't play defense. When Isaiah is off the court, it's not like Terry Rozier is a defensive monstrosity either. So I think Ish can, can do what he wants to do. I'm expecting another 25 to 30 fantasy points. And the upside there is around 40, depending on how many minutes he sees. So he's a guy I'm definitely looking at in tournaments. <clears throat> Finishing off our list tonight, I'll look at P.J. Tucker, uh, the newest acquisition of the Toronto Raptors, 9,100 on Fantasy Draft, 4,700 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DraftKings. And I'll admit, there is a sense of unknown with him still because he's only had one game with his new team. He performed well. We know during his time in Phoenix that he's a high ceiling but low floor player. He can put together these games that have just ridiculous stat lines because he contributes in basically all five phases of the game but then if he's not getting the usage all of a sudden you're looking at single digit output so I don't really feel comfortable putting him in my tournament lineups tonight cash game lineups tonight I think he's a tournament exclusive play only but still a good play nonetheless Hope you enjoyed what we've brought to you today. Make sure to check us out at researchfantasy.com. Join our daily NBA mailing list where we'll send you our favorite advice, picks, and other news relating to research fantasy. Find us on Twitter at Research and Win and on Facebook at Research Fantasy. Thanks for joining.